In this lesson, we're going to take numbers that are written out in words and write them in standard form. And remember, standard form just means write them as uh, numerical digits. So, uh, so for the first example, it says 5,845 and 67 hundredths. So remember, the word and is the decimal point, right? So that's the first thing to try to find is find the word and and then understand, okay, this is my decimal point. So once you find the word and and you can find the decimal point, then you can just kind of interpret what's to the left and interpret what's to the right separately. And usually what's to the left is the easiest to interpret. So I have 5,845. Okay, so that means I need to just write the number 5,845 to the left of that decimal point. Okay, now on the right of the decimal point it says 67 hundredths. So here's what I suggest uh, you do in these cases. Is first take a look at the place value, okay, the hundredths place. And I would just count over place values, maybe put a little line after the decimal point for each place value. So I know it goes tenths, hundredths. So I need to make the number 67 fit into these two slots. And of course that's real simple because 67 has two digits, so it takes up both of these slots. Okay. I think in the next, um, in the next example you'll see why it's important to um, put some blank spaces first and then fill in the digits. So in the next one here we have and, so we'll start there. That's my decimal point. So 17. Okay, that's fairly easy. We need a 1 and a 7 before the decimal point. Okay, so now before we even worry about uh, the, the number here, let's look at the place value that it wants from us. It wants the ten thousandths place to be where the number is going to end. So that means I count over tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So I know that my number needs to finish in this slot over here. Now notice 58 only has two digits, right? So I better put the 8 all the way over here and the 5 all the way over here because it needs to end in the ten thousandths place. Well, if there's a couple of blank spaces between the decimal point and where you wrote your number, better make sure you put zeros in there um, as kind of placeholders so that we know it's 17 and 58 ten thousandths, not 17 and 58 hundredths or 58 thousandths or something like that. So those zeros are really important. All right, finally, 725,014 millionths. Notice there's something missing here. There's no and. Okay, so if there's no and, what we know is that there is no whole part. Okay, if there's no and, there is no whole part. So kind of the word and is, you know, kind of hiding over here. So I suppose they could have said zero and all this. So we know right away we can just put zero point and then we go ahead and look at this place value here. So millionths. So let's count it over. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths. Okay, so now we have 725,014. Okay, and what might be helpful here is just write out uh, write, write this thing out w before you actually put it in these little slots as if it wasn't even a decimal interpretation. So 725,000, okay, 725,000, I should put a comma there, 14. Okay, well 14 is only a two-digit number, so that means there's a zero in the hundreds place and then a one four. Okay, so that's 725,014. Um, turned into standard form. And we've got six digits here, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six places here. So that's really nice. That means that each uh, digit has a place. Don't have to add any extra zeros or anything like that. And of 
course, we never put commas to the right of the decimal point, so we would leave that comma there out.